Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 324. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 324 to 326. Hey, we want to create a data validation drop down list here. I can see I already have that left over from before. I cleared it right there, but we want a data validation drop down list of dates. We want to be able to type in a begin date and have this list automatically show that just the days for that month. So if it's 2 1 2008, we need to have from February 1st to February 29th. If it's 1, we need to have 1 1 2008 to 131. First thing we're going to do is calculate the number of days in a month. Now we want to look at the end of month function equals e, EO month. This is by default in 2007. In earlier versions, you have to go to the Tools menus, Add In, and then check the Data Analysis Tool Pack. It's great because it will give us the end of the month. There's the start date. I'm going to click on that date. And then comma and number of months backwards or forward. If I type a 1 here, it will give me the end of next month. If I type minus 1, it gives me the end of last month. Ah, but if I put a zero, I get the end of this month, the current month. Uh, control Enter. That is a serial number uh, that r number of days since December 31st, 1899. January 1st, 1900 is 1. Uh, it, it's a date, Control 1, if you format it as a date, it's a date. But that serial number is still underneath. Now what do we really need there? Hey, I'm going to control Z on that date because we, we don't really want date format here. Hey, since that gives us the end of the month, uh, we're going to wrap around this the day function. And then the day function will look at that serial date and tell us which day of the month it is. So control or enter. So there it is, 31 days. Now if you're in earlier versions, uh, and you don't have end of month, you're going to have to do this. Equals date, and we're actually going to have to construct a date. The date function needs the year, the month, and the day. So re really we want 2008, um, two, or, or 1, and 31 here. So we're going to use the year function. And the year function, like the day and month, looks at a date, a serial number, and extracts the year. So it will deliver 2008, which is what the date function needs, comma, and then month. Right now, if it's looking at that month right there, it'll deliver the 1 right there to the date function. But we, our trick is going to involve going to the next month, so we have to add 1. Right now, it'll give us 2, so February, comma, and then day. Now right now it's 2008, February. If I put a 1 here, it gives me February 1st. But watch this, the date function's awesome. You can go backwards, minus 10, and it goes backwards 10 days. If you do it uh, 0, instead of uh, 2008, February 1st, when you put a 0 there, it knows to go backwards one day. And that's the trick to get the last day of last month. So uh, close parentheses. Now the date function does the same thing as the end of month. It delivers some sort of date. I mean, that, that's what's similar. This always gives the end. The date function gives whatever you put in. But they both deliver a serial number date. I'm going to convert this to general format, control shift tilde. And what do we really want? We want to wrap the day function around that day function. And by the way, in our next video also, we're going to use this trick for calculating number of days in any given month. Now, if we come up here and change this to 2-1-2008, it even knows leap year. Now, our, our goal is to get our valid data validation drop-down list, but we're going to have to create the date somewhere here. So I'm going to um, do a formula for that. And there's a bunch of formulas we could do. Here's one of them. I'm going to click right there, and I'm going to F4. Lock it going down. And now I need to incrementally add, for this cell, a 0. But as I go down, I need to then add 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to plus, And in parentheses, I'm going to use our rows. We've seen this many times. It's a way of incrementing numbers. I'm sitting in D13. So I type D dollar sign 13 colon D13, close parentheses. Right now it says, how many rows are there? 13 to 13? 1. 13 to 14, because this is relative as we copy it down, it'll be 13 to 14, it'll give us 2, and then 3, and then 4. Well, right now, in this cell, we need 0, so I'm going to have 
the rows deliver 1, minus 1 will give us 0. But as it goes down, it will go 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, Control-Enter. And then I can drag this down. Oops. Drag this down. There's 31 cells here. I somehow missed it. So 31 cells. Oh, but I don't want that, so I'm going to have to have some way to turn this off when I uh, get down a certain uh, distance. Well, hey, we already have a number of months here. The reason why we did that is because we're going to say if the rows, which is our incrementing number, and I can actually scoop this up. If the rows incrementing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are still less than 29, then show the formula, otherwise show blank. So I just copied that there. I'm going to come to the beginning and type if. And the logical test, I'm going to control V to paste my rows. That's our incrementing number. If that's less than or equal to our number of days in this month. And here I'm going to lock it going down. So uh, if that's true, then go ahead and calculate this little thing right here, which gives us the date. That's the value of true. Otherwise, comma, what is the value of false? Please show blank, double quote, double quote, close parentheses, control enter, double click and send it down. And so we have our list. If we change this to one, it will uh, obey us. And when I go down to the bottom, you can see there's 31. Now let's do our data validation. In 2007, it's data, data validation, data validation. In 2003, it's the data menu, data validation. The keyboard shortcut that works in all versions, Alt-DL. Allow any list, or an allow a list, and then our source will be right here. Click, Control shift down arrow, click OK. And now we have, oh, the days for, um, January 2008. If I change this to whatever, now this list has changed. And it goes all the way, actually in this case, it will go all the way down. I'll have a couple blanks, but that's not so bad. We have our data validation list, whatever date we put in here, 1 slash 1 slash 1900. Then we have our uh, list here automatically changing. All right, we'll see you next trick.